Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a look and see how synthetic division can also be used to factor a polynomial. In addition to that, we're going to show you some additional details about synthetic division to begin with. So here we have a very straightforward uh, x squared plus 5x minus 6 divided by x plus 6. x plus 6 is one of the factors we'll see in just a moment, but let's go ahead and solve this equation or solve this division by using synthetic division. So again, we simply put down the numerical coefficients of the polynomial, 1, 5, negative 6, and then we go ahead and put in the root. So the root in this case would be um, x plus 6 equals 0, that means x equals minus 6, and this is the root of the denominator or the root of the equation in the numerator, and so that's what we're going to put down in here, minus 6. And now we're going to solve it using synthetic division. We draw the line, we put down the number 1 over here, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6, we add the two numbers together, we get negative 1, negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6, we put that down here, add it to numbers, and we get zero. Now let's see what all these numbers mean again. For the numerator, for the polynomial at the top, this is the x squared term, this here is the x to the first term, and this here is the x to the zero term, which basically is just a constant. Over here, this represents the x to the first term, and this represents the x to the zero term, and this here represents the remainder. All right, now what we're going to do is interpret what all this means. We can now say that x squared plus 5x minus 6 divided by x plus 6 is equal to 1 times x minus 1. So this is equal to x minus 1. And then if we cross multiply, we can then say that x squared plus 5x minus 6 is equal to the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 6, which is the factored form of this trinomial. And that's why we can say that we can use synthetic division to also factor once you know one of the factors. So since x plus 6 is one of the factors, we can then find the other factor x minus 1 using synthetic division. And so that gives you another look and see what synthetic division is all about. Again, notice that these are simply the numerical coefficients of the polynomial at the top, and these here are the numerical coefficients of the solution. When we divide this by this, we get the solution, and so this represents the x minus 1, so 1 for the x to the first term, and minus 1 for the x to the zero term, which is simply the constant. And then, well, whatever we have over here, if it's equal to zero, we have a perfect match. In other words, we have an exact, uh, an exact product of two binomials which represent the original polynomial at the top. If there is a remainder, of course, then we don't have an exact solution. And that's how we know using synthetic division. That's how it's done.